my name is Zana Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, I'm a young adult fiction author and I know my makeup looks a little bit weird, but as you guys have might have already figured out from the thumbnail and also the title, today I'm actually going to be doing a makeup tutorial. This is the first time I'm actually going to say that I'm doing a tutorial on my channel because usually in the past if I'm doing makeup, I'm either following someone else's tutorial or I'm not really trying to teach you anything. But today I thought I would actually do a tutorial since I recently did my makeup and I loved how it looked and I wanted to share it with you guys since all of it was using my Rebel London palette. This is a palette that I just bought since I'm actually leaving for England really, really soon. In fact, I'm not certain when this video is up. It might be up after I'm already gone. I'm currently in the process of pre-filming a lot of videos just so it can all be ready for when I'm gone so you guys are still getting content. Um, but I saw that this was on sale or I had a coupon or something uh, but I picked it up and was really excited to use it and I wanted to use it for the first time in England but I realized I wanted to make sure I wanted to take it with me first. Um, if I tried all the product and it was like not very pigmented or anything then I wouldn't take it with me. So I did use it one other time. I used it when I went to... Where did I even go? Oh my gosh, I like totally blanked out. Oh, we were going to a Sounders watch party in town. That was it. Um, but so I did a smoky eye and I loved how it looked. So today I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys to learn. Obviously, I am not a makeup artist. Um, yes, I actually do have, fun fact, I have a degree in theater with an emphasis in performance and makeup design, but it was more for like gore makeup. So like if you needed to look, look like dead, burnt, old impaled that kind of stuff um so beauty makeup's a little bit of a stretch for me but i thought i would give it a go because i figure if i can do it you can do it because if i can do it anyone can uh but so this is the palette it is again the rebel london palette i think it's been out for like two years and then i wanted to show you when you open it it has a mirror and then also has the little protector for everything and it has the rebel mark on it which i think is really great um the thing that i love the most about this palette was definitely the mirror though um, it made me just really excited because I think I only have one other palette that has a mirror and that was from like Kohl's So a lot of times like nicer palettes aren't gonna have a mirror You're just gonna have to figure it out, but I really appreciate that rebel put a mirror into this um, That being said though here are all of the colors the real stars of the show as you can see there's a really good wide variety and um, For this one the ones that I use the most I use um, snow Victoria a little bit of the rose gold some of the limelight a touch of London and Bear and then some Buckingham and a little bit of Rebellious. I will go step by step but I wanted to kind of pre-let you guys know um, and before I did my one or my um, smoky eye the other day I actually watched a couple other tutorials on YouTube and found that it was really easy to kind of color match and figure it out. Um, so today we're gonna give it a go and uh, we're gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup and um, then I'll talk about some other stuff at the end um, but I'm gonna be using this palette and then a bunch of random brushes, most of them are eco tools. One of them is one that I got online from some like random, hey, get a free makeup brush, and one is from e.l.f. So we're just gonna kinda give it a go. Um, as I'm filming, I will be looking off to the side here at a, um, a little light up mirror I have, um, just for a little bit better lighting, and uh, we're just gonna give this a go. And if it fails, it fails together, and um, yeah. Again, this is my first time actually like saying it's a tutorial versus just me doing my makeup. So a uh, precursor, if no one learns anything from it and I do everything wrong, then oops. All right, here we go. It's gonna be great. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is dip into Snow and Victoria and cover the entire lid all the way up. And I'm gonna be doing both eyes at once. Unlike some beauty artists, they usually just do one eye, but um, I'm gonna forget what I do if I don't do them both at the same time. So here we go. So I just did Victoria on both of my lashes, or my, not my lashes, both of my lids, and I realized I'm going to actually try not to use my light up ring if I, can, if I don't have to. I'm going to actually just use the mirror that's in the palette. Number one, because my light ring likes to like bleach things out when I look this way and do makeup here. So we're going to try it that way. Um, I can't say I'll do it for the entire video. We're gonna give it a go. So here we go, adding a little bit more Victoria, just really kind of getting that good base. And I'm using my fluffiest brush to really kind of get the sweep of color versus like a really harsh line of color. All right, so as you can see, not a lot of color has happened. That is okay. I'm actually go gonna use the same brush. I was gonna switch brushes. We're gonna use the same brush. And now I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of the bare and I'm gonna start doing my crease and also my lash a little bit more. Mm. 
Now, as we go, we're obviously gonna get some fallout under the eye. We will clean that up and deal with it later. But as you can see, it really didn't do much as far as adding pigment. And the thing with a smoky eye is it's better to do it in layers and not just cram on some black. I've seen people be like, I have a smoky eye. No, you just painted your entire lid black. That's not smoky, that's just soot. So we gotta make it smoky. So I'm gonna keep layering bare, and then I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of the Buckingham as well, and just add in that color. But I'm gonna do it really slowly, instead of just jamming in the color, hence why I'm still using the fluffy brush right now. Once I get kind of a base color, then we'll go in with a smaller brush to add a little more detail. All right, so now that I have that good base, like I said, I'm gonna go in with the Buckingham, which is just a little bit darker. And I'm gonna use this fluffy brush just at the beginning to layer in lightly. And then once I get a little bit of an outside edges, so to speak, then we're gonna add it deeper in the crease. So you can see it's lightly in there, it's not overpowering. We'll make it a darker color in a moment. So now that I have a base color of the Buckingham, I'm actually gonna get a smaller brush, and I have this Eco Tool one that's a little bit more of like a stippling brush, and I'm gonna use that to really get into the crease more. I'm not doing a super fine brush though because we are gonna go in with some black in a little bit, and I want that to be an even smaller brush. So again, we're just going in with the Buckingham again to add more depth and more darker color in the crease. All right, while I have this color on the brush, I'm actually gonna go underneath my eye as well. I'm gonna be using that same Buckingham, and I'm gonna take it from about here, so three quarters of the way over. I'm gonna leave a little bit at the side though, because that's where we're gonna add a pop of like a brighter color. So again, still just the Buckingham, right under the eye, just kind of buffing it in very carefully, and I'm making sure I don't have too much on my brush, because we don't want it to all poof into my eyeball. I've done that before. It's no fun. So you can see the difference that it makes. It definitely just kind of brings everything together as opposed to just having from here up painted, having a little bit under really makes a difference. Now I'm gonna take a smaller Eco Tools brush. It's very similar to the last one, but it's a little bit of a smaller tip. And I'm gonna use that to start going in with black and make the outer V. I do wanna make sure it goes up a little bit above the crease so it will be seen when my eyes are open, but I, at the same time, don't want it to be so high that it blends out everything else. And this is the color Rebellious, this one right here. So you can see it's adding a little bit of smoke, but not too in your face yet. If I wanna go darker once I get a little further, I can, but it's really hard to take it away later, so it's better to go in little stages, adding darkness as I go so I don't get too overpowered too quickly. Much like before, I'm gonna go underneath my eye, but just to about a third of the way over with the black, just to bring in that dark shade. Don't wanna to totally overpower that brown though, that Buckingham color. Just wanna add in a little bit of the smudgy black. All right, so taking a look at my makeup, I'm feeling like I need to add a little more black, so I'm going in with a more floofy, a little bit bigger brush, and I'm gonna use the Rebellious again, but I'm gonna make sure to be really light-handed with it. I don't want it to be as strong as in the crease, so from the, like actually on my lid and then a little bit above, I'm just gonna buff it in really, really slowly. So a little bit went a long way in this case, and I definitely feel like it's looking really good. One thing I am gonna do though is along the top line here, it's feeling a little bit too harsh, so I'm gonna go in with that initial brush that I have. I'm actually going to use my brush cleaner. It's just this like kind of corrugated sponge thing. I'm gonna rub the brush really, really hard in here, make sure it's really good and cleaned off, and then I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of the bare and just kind of rub out those edges. I could do it with a blend, brush but I do want to make sure that I'm still maintaining a little bit of color in those areas 
So my light ring was dying, needed to charge it for a minute, and then in that time I also grabbed my Ulta, my Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat. Now, I went to Ulta recently and I was like, I need to get a better solution for the fact that Stila is expensive. And um, this was one that I found and I tried in store and I absolutely love it. And so we're gonna use this in place of a Stila or a Stila. Stila? I don't know how to say it, but the glitter that I would normally put from the center out. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed how this looked in store though. I'm excited to try it. So uh, we're going to pop this in. I'm really liking how the look is coming together overall. Obviously, there's a couple things that are really going to make it come together more, which are mascara, lashes, and then this glitter. We're going to apply this glitter and then um, we'll talk about the other items. I'm using this small brush and just tapping it on gently and we're going to grab my rebel palette again to continue using that mirror which again is just the best feature on it for sure like i love the colors but having a mirror right here is amazing so here we go we're adding just from the center over or from the corner to the center rather oh i did not pick up much much on the brush <laughs> All right, there we go. We got the centers done and we got a lot of fallout. So I'm gonna quickly take care of that. I am just gonna use one of my clean brushes to just fluff some of it away. Oh, nope, it's definitely just all in here. So um, yeah, here we are. Yeah, the shimmer, the shimmer is a bit much under there. And normally I'd run and get my concealer. We might do that in a minute, but for now we're gonna leave it because up next I wanna move on to a thin layer of liner. It's actually really difficult for me to film this part, so I'm going to cut and come back once my liner and then also a thin layer of mascara is on. Plus I'm going to pop on some lipstick and then a lip glitter. So I will be right back with all of those additions and also clean this up a little more. Be right, right back. And we're all done. So I popped on some Ulta lip gloss and an Ulta glitter top coat. And then I did my Ulta mascara. Guys, I'm kind of having an Ulta moment. And my Ulta liner. So basically I used Rebel, Ulta, and then the majority of my face, like foundation makeup, is all Mary Kay. Um, but here is the finished look. In fact, we need our obligatory uh, slow-mo beauty shot. So cue the music. You're welcome for all those beauty shots. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys were able to follow along in this tutorial and uh, get somewhere close to here. Now, I know you're thinking though, you're like, um, Dana, why aren't you wearing lashes? Why, why aren't you wearing lashes? This look clearly begs for lashes, and I agree, I completely agree. But for that, you're gonna have to wait for kind of a part two of this video, so to speak. This video was all about the Rebel in London, or the Rebel London, um, palette but next I'm going to be filming all about lashes using this exact same look as my base so make sure you guys check out that video I'm going to be using my Aloe'i lashes I apologize if I'm saying them wrong they are a Hawaiian lash brand that I'm completely obsessed with if you guys don't know Jade she is actually the founder and owner of the company and I am so beyond proud of her and I absolutely love these lashes so I have four different types and I'm gonna try them all out. So stay tuned for that video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment below if you were able to follow along with this tutorial, if it was helpful. If you have any other tips for people, myself included, let's be honest, we can all always get better at doing makeup. And for me, it's just really fun to try it. I thought I would share this though, since I um, felt like I did a successful smoky eye the other day and wanted to give it a go again. Um, and again, it was the Rebel London, or it is, oh, Rebel in London. That word is there, the Rebel in London palette. Um, so if you guys don't have it, definitely go check it out. I, I don't remember the price point on it, but I know I ordered it with a coupon, so definitely you guys can do the same. Um, but let me know your thoughts and your feelings on it in the comment section. If it was, was a helpful tutorial, if you would like tutorials in the future, I'm not opposed to doing them, but again, I'm not a makeup artist, so they might not be like 
top notch, so to speak. Um, finally though, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as the video goes up with me using the amazing, fabulous lashes. I'm gonna charge my light rings and we're gonna film that run right now and I can't wait to see how everything looks with these lashes as a base. Anyway, I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video, whether you use the Rebel in London palette or another one. Um, big shout out to Rebel in London for making this great palette. It's definitely my favorite smoky eye palette so far. I think I've tried like two or three other ones, so I really, really enjoy this one. Oh, and this video is not sponsored, although Rebel, if you ever want me to do a sponsored video with you, like you just call me. So I'm saying I'll answer that phone call every time. Uh, anyway, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for the eyelash video that will be taking this look to a whole new level. So stay tuned for that. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon.